Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, I hope you had an amazing holiday, spending it with family and friends and a lot of fireworks. Well, I think today we're going to start with something and I'm going to do a giveaway. A giveaway if you type 818, actually, if you type relax to 818-221-2797, you will receive one of my audio recordings, which is Relax and Unwind. So that's going to be my gift to you. Hopefully, after this weekend, you now need to relax. (laughs) So for those of you who are not familiar with me, my name is Aliza Bubari, your expert clinical hypnotherapist and stress management consultant. This entire thing is all about heal talk and information and uh, information that I give. Sometimes we talk about health, we talk about wellness, what's happening in the news, and there's a lot that it's happening. But how do we cope with so much stress, so much anxiety, so much that it's happening around us? And yesterday, With all the fireworks and the beautiful things that were happening, everybody was keeping their animals either close to them and everything. And my little one, with all his hype and everything that barks uh, when someone comes to the door, the fireworks was affecting my little dog. So when I was thinking about it is how did he manage it? He was so close to me, trembling, but as long as I had my hand on his back and just caressing him and he calmed down. So how often do we as human beings find this place of safety? And do we always need to be stroked? Do we always have to have a place that somebody is next to us? Or we find that healing within us, that comfort within us, that we can find what is it that calms us down within. So here's my question to you. What do you do to calm yourself down? How do you relax? And what does it take for you to find this place of safety within yourself? This goes back to another time when uh, I remember as a child, I always looked up and, you know, my mom was making sure that everything had to be in place. She was, mm, we call it a dictator, but like a, a, a super helicopter mom. I know I don't talk about myself as far as my childhood often, But this entire thing has been making me think with all the shootings, with all the school problems and the kids now, especially now that they're out of uh, school, how do we help them? What's going on in their life? And because my mom was so proper, everything had to be in place. and, And if I did something wrong as a child, I would get a spanking if I was a tomboy. My God, was I a tomboy. And sometimes I think I asked for it. But it created this underlying, um, not a perfectionist, but I have to be right. I have to put everything in place. Everything has to be correct or else. See that little kid learned or else if i don't do this i might get a beating i might get a scolding i might get that the eyes the look and throughout the years even as adult no matter what happened there is that little voice 
that used to say, make it right, do it right, clean this, put everything aside, manage everything correctly, and how do we take that? Here's two ways. One can be a stressor in your life, and the other one can be, ah, this helped me become who I am. So it all comes to you and your interpretation. What you call something that creates an anxiety in you and what you call, ah, this is always there to remind me, to teach me, to guide me. So if as children, we're growing up, we've had this kind of a discipline, it creates this underlying tone of a stressor. So making it right and proper and clean all the time. Or is this one way that I learned and how to manage everything now? Because the worst thing you can do is live with blame, live with shame, live with guilt, and underlying stressors. So as a clinical hypnotherapist, so many of my clients, when they come in and with wanting to make a change, wanting to shift a habit, a negative habit for the positive, for the better, for the healthier, there's so much more we deal with. It's strengthening the self-esteem of who you are. How do you believe in yourself? You know, one of the things that um, Heal Die Your Mind Body, one of the books that I have, Louise Hay, who used to be the, the guru of the book called Heal Your Body, she had this saying that if you learn how to love yourself, then you will know how to be loved and love someone else. But it's not something new. I think so many of us have heard this cliche, you cannot love someone else until you love you. But do we really know how to love ourselves? I like to call it, do you like yourself? So my clients, when they come in, is to understand, do you like who you are? Do you like many of your aspects? In order for us to let go of guilt and blame and what we call it, forgive, not necessarily someone else, but forgive yourself for holding on to grudges. Forgive uh, all the blames and the shames that you have been living with to forgive yourself for holding on. Because holding on to all this, you know what it does? It creates this weight, um, un unseen weight, this invisible weight of shame and guilt. So to shift those, you need to start liking yourself. You need to, and then to start loving who you are and realize that there, there is the, the, per, the persona of who you are and there is the things you do. So we love who we are. We can love someone and yet not like the things they do or say or their actions two different things and that's why when you come in here to make a shift or a change like my client I ask them what is it that you want to make a change and why do you want to make this change and how is it affecting you so if it is stressors and anxieties, 
we find out what the anxiety is and how is it affecting them. And if we can just shift the outlook or the perception of it, it might help them with something else. So in a way, what my mom trained me as a little girl, I used to be afraid not to be scolded, not to be hit. Now, today, I see so many of that, not all of them, so many of that, that it became this, uh, this platform for me to be more uh, tidy, to be more manageable, to be a better manager and doing so many things in a better way. So if I turn that underlying stressor and say, now I can shift and change the perception and make it work for me, how I can do this. So as an adult with our conscious mind, recognizing what we thought it was something negative and we held on to it in the subconscious mind, which is the reservoir, which is the blueprint of how we grew up and how we took information and how we interpreted those information, we now change the interpretation. We translate it to something that works for you. That's what I do with my clients is helping them recognize and I can help you recognize certain behaviors and habits and how is it benefiting you or it's no longer benefiting you that's that's the part you know when we shift that perception mm, magic you become the magician of your own wellness isn't that beautiful so again today's gift i want to gift you that you can just click it and listen to my audio recording relax and unwind in the comfort of your own home and all you have to do is uh, type Relax to 818-221-2797. That's all you have to do is just text relax to 818-221-2797 and we will send you my audio recording so that you can just listen, relax, and unwind in the comfort of your own home or wherever you are as long as you're not driving. Because going into a state of hypnosis, it's such a profound feeling. It's like mm, having a like having a 20 minute cat nap equivalent to three hours of deep sleep. It is. So many come here and after their hypnosis session, when they come to full awakeness, they say, that was amazing. Can I just have this feeling? And I'm saying, of course. You've got this audio recording and it will go anywhere you are. All you have to do is download it on your phone. So that was my gift to you. Today's message is shift your perception and you will shift your outlook and habits and behaviors. Everything depends on you. By the way, have you signed up for the 3E event? Oh, it's going to be amazing. The 3E event, it's our eighth annual event, which is empowering women and having this event, which is a, going to be a two day getaway at Rancho Mirage and We've got speakers galore. Every speaker, one to empower you with your health and wellness. The other one, how to declutter. The other one, understanding law, conservatorship, and 
learning about saving Brittany, but that's how she became famous. She's just an amazing attorney. We've got uh, another speaker that is joining us uh, talk about the corporate government and how to level yourself if you want to be in that world of the corporate world, the government world, but every single woman overcoming certain challenges to be where they are and giving you so much so that you can go home with so much more. Plus, we're going to have transformational healing exercises and networking, creating this beautiful tribe together. Plus, yes, on stage, of course, I will be speaking and uh, you might even be one of the lucky people who's going to come up on stage and if you want to have a mini transformation i'm going to do a mini hypnosis or hypnotherapy on stage life is going to change a lot of transformations are going to happen in two days we're going to have sound bath healing one of our speakers uh facilitators is going to create that in the beautiful green gazebo so and our mistress of ceremonies the beautiful jennifer and michael butler we have a michael butler with us so if you want more than any conference any speaking engagement a place that is fun it's transformational it's empowering it is gifting you plus so much more and a getaway of me time for you and a friend right now we're having a special our special which is the early bird it's happening right now until august 15. so you and a friend can come with that early bird and you know what at the most amazing place of palm springs actually palm desert rancho mirage at this beautiful resort at the west end so plus plus you get to bring a friend and enjoy everything with them so if you think transformation happens for months and months mm -mm. with the price of one session of mine you come there and you have two days of all kinds of transformation and speakers so today is shift the perception and shift happens when you say yes to you and I look forward not only having a one-on-one -on -one sessions with you or giving you this gift that you can experience self-hypnosis and relax and unwind but also join us on this beautiful two-day retreat the eighth annual 3e event all the links will be right here all you have to do is click click and be with us my name is Lisa Bubari your expert hypnotherapist and if there is one magic or word I can give you is for you to say I matter because you do you do matter and until next week, I wish you all the best, health from the inside and the outside. Until next week, I bid you goodbye. God bless you and may the universal light surround you. See you next week. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.